AVF stimulation short protocol is the topic of our discussion today. Pre-treatment estrogen helps to grow and maintain the endometrial lining and sustain a pregnancy. Ultrasound is started on day 2 along with serum estradiol LH progesterone levels. GnRH agonist 0 to 1 mg for maturity down regulation is started on day 2 to 8. Recombinant FSH or HMG 300 international unit is started from day 4 till the time of oocyte retrieval. Ultrasound for follicular tracking is done on alternate days. If more than 7 days are passed for 18 mm follicle to be formed, GnRH antagonist is given. The final trigger shot HCG is given 36 hours before the egg retrieval. Collection of semen is done and is prepared for embryological procedure. Embryo being formed in the laboratory is transferred on day 2-4 to four after incubation. Luteal phase support in the form of progesterone is done for the next 14 days. What are the benefits of short protocol of IVF? First of all, there are less risks of OHSS ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, which can cause serious side effects in some cases. With less medications, there are fewer side effects. It involves less appointments, so it is easier to fit in around work. It can result in better quality eggs. Who decides which protocol should be used? Based on the medical history of the patient, a fertility specialist consultant will establish which protocol will be most effective for the patient and they will explain why. Here we can see the differences between short and long term protocol of IVF stimulation. Short protocol is started from day 2 of the current cycle. Long protocol is started from day 21 of the previous cycle. Now something about IVF. It is a complex series of procedures used to help with the fertility or prevent the genetic problem and assist with the conception of the child. IVF brings the miracle of conception in the laboratory. Since 1978, it has led to the birth of about 10 million babies. Now let us briefly explain how does it work. In step number one, we do preparation. IVF treatment process begins long before any egg removal and fertilization takes place. For that, we need to take uh, the thorough medical history of the patient. We also do certain fertility tests, not only for the patient, but also for the husband as well. And uh, before starting uh, the procedure, we uh, prescribe the contraceptive pills for the cycle regulation before the actual IVF cycle. In step 2, we do ovarian stimulation by using certain injections. It's important to no note that um, during this cycle, during typical ovarian cycle, uh, one egg becomes mature enough to ovulate. But uh, what happens in IVF, injectable hormonal medications are used, uh, which brings about the maturity of a group of eggs. So, ovarian stimulation is done by injectable hormones. The type, dosage and frequency of medication is tailored according to the patient's needs and depending upon the overall status of a patient. After ovarian stimulation, we do the monitoring of the eggs as we discussed before in the short protocol, either on daily basis or on alternative days. And as I have explained before in the IVF protocol, short protocol that we give final trigger shot about 36 hours before the egg retrieval. So the last step is that of the egg retrieval which is done by proper technique. So egg retrieval time is the one in which the eggs are fully matured. For this uh, suction device is connected to the long needle and that is inserted into the patient's vagina in order to retrieve the mature egg out. The eggs which we remove is placed in the petri dish under specific condition for incubation for a short period of time. Sedation is also required for this process. In step 4, we wait for the process of fertilization to take place. Step 5 is embryo development and step 6 is embryo transfer. 
and step number seven is doing the pregnancy test so thank you so much that was all about the short protocol of ivf and something about the ivf steps as well subscribe on option gyne allah hafiz